welcome back to the Midday Q&A. I'm your host, the Duck Man. <laughs> We're back today with another exciting Midday Q&A. That's right. It's the first in about nine days that I'm seeing blue skies overhead and the sun is hitting me in the face. This is just remarkable. I mean, <laughs> nine days of just constant rain, constant rain. It was actually kind of warm, though. It's just about 80 degrees several of those days, which is what had caused just a, a mold and an algae to grow on everything. I mean, even my shower curtain in the house, which was brand new, actually turned uh, thick with mold. <laughs> That doesn't even happen in the summer quite that badly. But yeah, it's pretty terrible. I'm going to have to give that thing a good bleaching. Or that or just replace it. They're not that expensive. But you guys get the drift. But anyways, we're back today. Going to be working on the Beetle later on today. I've been trying to put together the engine on here. And uh, I keep getting hit with setbacks. And I mean, it's always something. Always something. Something's missing. Something's lost. Something's taking longer to put together than it should. Work has been bothering me. Everything's been working against me. Uh, thankfully, it's, it's an on day for me. And, um... This morning has actually been relatively quiet. I haven't gotten much for phone calls or, or anything. I've gotten emails where people just need questions answered. Currently, there's no jobs going on right now, so I get to hang out here at home, and I'm going to try to work on Eleanor a little bit more, so you're going to watch for that video later on tonight. Anyways, one of the questions that people have been asking me is, you know, Eleanor constantly gets rained on, because every time I move that car to the garage, it rains. <laughs> So we're going to talk about that as soon as we get back from the break. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, plug the little dingle bell you see down there next to the subscribe button. Don't forget to check out Duckman Cycles VW Garage up on the Facebook group page. And if you'd like to email me, DuckmanCycles at DuckShit.net. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll be back in just a minute. Well, we're back. The most common question I constantly get asked is, uh, why don't I build a shelter for Eleanor? And the answer is, is because she's got a garage to live in. And the garage is where I keep my active projects, the things that I'm currently working on. So some people said, well, if you're going to be pushing her out in the driveway, then, you know, why don't you build a carport? You know, right here in the driveway. you got this big empty space, and that sounds like a great idea. But, you know, carports in the front yard just look really trashy. Really, really trashy. I'm sorry. I don't want that on the front of my house. There's another one over on that side, too. No. No, we're not going to put anything like that on the front of my house. I don't like the way that looks at all, and I'm not going to get into that. Now, another option would be to put a lean-to over here on the side of the house, and that was my idea, and that was something I would love to get into, but before I put the time, money, and expense into that, I'll move to another place. You know, I'm, I'm not going to put that much more development into uh, this building. Boy, look how green it is from all that rain. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to continue to improve or develop this property because I don't plan on staying here. So that's not something I'm going to get into. And somebody else said, well, you know, why don't you just get a tent garage? Oh, sure, a tent garage, you know, like I don't already have one or two. <laughs> oh, okay. And they're currently full. Ruby lives in there, my white beetle lives in there. Ah, uh, and lastly, you know, they say, well, why don't you just throw some tarps on the car, like I've thrown over here on the computers. Yeah, tarps are a great idea. Tarps leak. Tarps blow off. Sure, you can tie them down. Sure, you can weigh them down. But I don't want to constantly have to cover and uncover the car. I think that's, that's silly. I'll just push it back in the garage. It only takes a couple minutes to do that, whereas, you know, finding the tarp, unwrapping the tarp, Putting the tarp away when you're done, which is wet now, which you have to lay it out and dry it out, or it's going to get moldy, and I don't want to get into any of that. Tarp to me is just, it's more work. It's just way more work. I'll just push the car in the garage when that happens. So as far as what I'm going to do when Eleanor gets rained on, push her back in the garage. I'm not changing this property. I'm not going to try to cover the car, as I said, that's just a waste of time. And another tank garage is, is ridiculous. I never thought I'd have the two. And the two is really nice for having the two cars that I keep here. But uh, if I want more space, it's either going to be moving. Maybe you guys can help me and give me a solution to the problem, such as buy my white beetle. Let's get that thing out of the way. That'll give me some more workspace back there. And then maybe I can push Eleanor into the, the uh, tank garage. <laughs> uh, when, well, not when it rains, but, you know, while I'm working on other things. Now, those tents also aren't very weatherproof. As you can see, the wind is actually blowing underneath that one right now. 
uh, sure, you know, once again, I, I can put a foundation under it and I can improve this property and, and put a nice frame inside of it to, to tie it down to the foundation to, to make it airtight or, you know, close to airtight so that way it can keep a drier environment inside of it. But, you know, it's still a tent garage and once again, I'm improving the property here and that's not something that I want to get into because I'm not staying here forever. I'm trying to find a bigger place. In fact, I found a bigger place and I'll put some pictures of it right here at screen. The only trouble is it's uh, a little far away from here. It's a little far out in the country, a little further than I want to be from everything. But it's really nice, and uh, it's actually the price is about the same as this place. And I think that is just absolutely outrageous for what, what you're getting. <laughs> but uh, three-car garage is what I'm looking at there, three bays in it, and uh, the house is about two and a half times the size of this. But it's way out in the middle of nowhere, and I don't much like the idea of being that far from everything. Well, I hope that answers that one. Because I found those statements to be rather annoying. Rather annoying, as if I haven't thought of these things already. <laughs> but, you know, everybody wants to be a chief, but nobody wants to be an Indian. So everybody's going to tell me how I'm going to work in my own shop. It's just the way it is. What do you do? We're going to get to Eleanor's engine a little bit more here today. Uh, when I was putting things away yesterday, I actually found a couple of problems with the exhaust that I was putting together on there. And that was another thing I got hit with a couple times. Why are you putting such a dirty engine in this car? Because the engine's not even running yet. You know, I, I don't even know if it's going to run. What happens on the first start? You start up, you know, if the thing starts doing a terrible rod knock or something. All that engine cleaning and detailing and work that I'm going to be putting into it before that was just wasted time. Why the hell would I do that? I, I, I don't even understand people's logic sometimes. Oh, your cylinders are all rusty. Yeah, and they're going to be covered with tins anyway, so even if I clean them, they're just going to rust again. <laughs> sure, I could paint them, but what happens to the paint on those cylinders when they get hot over time? It goes away. And I also did say in a video yesterday that uh, I did plan on taking that and sanding the rust off of it, treating it, and painting it. I mean, watch. It's right here. You know, it's right there on the screen. It's a, a little rusty from having sat out, sat out inside of a, uh, a shed, but um, yeah, it was never clean anyway. But I think a little bit of sanding and I can put a coat of paint on it later. Right now I just want to see it run. Running is really the key. I said it already exactly what my plan was. I don't even know why I have to explain it. I mean, it was right there on the screen. I said it with my own mouth, this one. So anyways, I think that's enough for today. So thanks for watching, you guys. I really do appreciate it. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Pluck that little dingle belly down there next to the subscribe button. And don't forget to uh, check out Duckman Cycles VW Garage up on the Facebook group page. If you'd like to email me, duckmancycles at duckshit.net. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. We'll be back tonight with another tech video on Eleanor's engine. Thanks for watching. I picked up this really cheap lens the other day that allows me to zoom in on objects, and I decided to take it out back to film things from an ant's point of view. 